day before Thanksgiving 2023 and I got a lot to do today. I need to make me a minced meat pie, which by the way, younger folks don't seem to know what that is. But uh, us old timers, that was probably a pretty regular staple pie over the holiday season. It's really hard to find nowadays, uh, the minced meat filling. But I'm gonna make me up a minced meat pie and a pumpkin pie today and get my kitchen all ready for the big turkey day tomorrow. And I got thinking, I've got no video for you guys this week. And uh, not really sure how many views I would get anyway, because I put these out on Friday and everybody will be spending time with their families. So I thought I'll dig out my cheesecake treats that I made up in September of 2020 and see how these have fared over all these years. So that's September, October, 2020, 2021, 22, 23, September, October, November. So that's three years and three months old. These are when I made these and packaged them up. Uh, it was a very tedious process, just to remind you, the video is out there. I can't remember what the episode number is. I think I'll, uh, in the comment section below, I will put a link to the original video of how I made these. Very tedious, but at the time I thought it was very rewarding for the experience after freeze drying them. And I thought they'd make a nice gift. I didn't give them away. I, I'm, I'm gonna save them for myself, but I thought they'd make nice gifts. So let's open these up and see how they held up. Vacuum was really good. O2 absorber. Looks like a 300cc. It's done its job, hopefully. Let's see, we've got one of those. One of each color. all the colors. Blue, red, so yeah, that looks like all the colors. All right. Oh, I made these up and then I wrapped them in foil that I got from Amazon. Let's see what they taste like after all these years. I can't remember the flavors. But I color coded them. Okay. That one is a cherry with a chocolate crust. Let's see what it tastes like. Pretty good. Nice and crunchy. All right. Very nice, actually. Okay. Blue, I'm pretty sure, is going to be my blueberry. Yeah, that looks like a blueberry. All right, let's see what it tastes like. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's very nice. Not a strong blueberry berry flavor in that, but definitely a cheesecake flavor in that. Now, one of these is going to be lemon. I'm going to guess it's that one. One of these is going to be strawberry, which I'm going to guess is that one. 
and I remember I did a raspberry. So I'm going to go for it. This one hoping that it's a raspberry next. We'll see. I probably should have wrote the color codes down. Of course, I could always go back and look at the video, but life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get inside. Well, I would say that looks more like a strawberry. Let's see. No. That's raspberry. You definitely get the tanginess of the, rasp the raspberry in that one. Raspberry with the chocolate bottom. Now we'll go for the strawberry. It's got to be strawberry. Looks much like the straw raspberry one, but I know I color coded them, so that's got to be strawberry. And the raspberry had a chocolate, and this one's got a graham cracker bottom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is very good. Saving the best for last. That was delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Man. I think I need to make about a thousand of those strawberries just on their own. And I remember I like, I think lemon was my favorite. I remember right. This one I had to mess with. I remember that to get my lemon nice and strong. I had to end up, I think I put some uh, lemon extract in with that. Let's see what she tastes like. Oh man. Oh yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Definitely get that lemony flavor to that, so that, that held up well. Mm, mm, mm. Well. I am super happy with those. What do you think? Three-year-old candy. Cheesecake, no no less. That was the, uh, what I used that. No-bake cheesecake mix met by uh, Philadelphia, who make cream cheese. It's in, the, it's in that department by the cream cheese, or it was, three years ago. And then my pie-filling type thingies that I used to flavor those up. Either pureed fruit or pie filling or combination. Those came out good. I remember they were good when I made them. And guess what? Three years and three months later, they are still delicious. I'm going to leave a link to these because, like I say, it's a very tedious process. But if you love somebody, you might want to spend the time and make them something really nice like that. I will say that when I wrap these, after we're freeze drying these, the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? The crust, for want of a better word, which was a uh, graham cracker or, uh, or uh, Oreo cookie based crust, had a little ridge on it. And you want to trim those off and smooth them off before you wrap them because I found that I wasted a lot of wrappers wrapping them and that sharp edge from the crust would uh, tear 
my foil liners or foil wrap. So I ended up using a couple sheets sometimes on them just to wrap them. But man, these are delicious. I'd say my favorite now though, over time, is that strawberry. That was really good. And this lemon is a second club second a close second, that's what they say. A close second. Mm, mm -hmm. But I got sidetracked. What I was talking about was that cheesecake filling. Tastes perfect. And some people had thought that because of the fat in that, it might not last well. That's a half gallon jar. All I used was a 300 cc O2 absorber in there and vacuum sealed it. I did both. And these held up beautifully. Oh. I think I'm going to leave these out for the upcoming holiday season. My brother and I can snack on these. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you try these because they are really good. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Happy Thanksgiving and happy holidays. Mm -hmm.